Welcome to my video. This is Ecogen. The Frozen Carnival event is back again, and the duration is August 21st until September 17th. Pressing the lever will cause the cannons to fire and start the event. There are two types of weapons, rifle and grenade launcher. The rifle is single target and slows the target momentarily, while the launcher is an AoE attack. The goal is to stop the Banshees that are coming out of the red portal and prevent them from making it to the blue portal. This event is located in Jadestone Village, just to the left of Shattered Mass, or you can access it through F8. Each wave you clear will make the Yeti throw a treasure chest over to our side. If you happen to let any Banshees pass, then there's an extra segment where you have to defend the chest from mini Yetis. But that only happens if you let any Banshees go through. Here's the second wave. If you are a range class, you can actually DPS the mobs instead of using the weapons. But I would only recommend doing so if your DPS is more than the weapon itself. On the third wave and higher, it will add variances to the waves. In this case, there are shield mobs, but they are purely distraction, and thus you ignore them. If you need to change weapons, you can do so by visiting the weapon rack, or if you happen to lose your weapon somehow, just go back to the weapon racks and pick up your weapon. For this wave, it spawned a totem in the middle, which made the mobs invulnerable, so you have to destroy the totem first to drop that shield. For this wave, it's ideal to take out the wind totems as they speed up the banshees, and you want to avoid the projectiles from the yetis as they will cause knockdown. Alright, so that's the fifth wave. Now for the sixth and final wave. So for this wave we got the shield mobs, ignore the shield mobs, and then watch out for the yetis with the projectiles.
After the sixth wave, the Yeti boss will fight us. You can use the weapons provided or just DPS it down. After all, level 16 or higher can do this dungeon, so it's very alt friendly. And yeah, you heard right, level 16 or higher can do this event dungeon. So collect your treasure. Each box will yield a 100,000 experience charm to the auction list. The daily is to kill 10 banshees and the boss. The dynamic is to kill 50 banshees. The daily reward box will give you 3 ice cubes and RNG hot pots. The hot pots give you combat experience, so I recommend using these with Hong Seal's storehouse event. So stash up the hot pots and Hong Seal's keys, and then use them all together to maximize the experience you gain from Hong Seal's event. Alright, so that's the Frozen Carnival event. That's how it works. As always, my social links will be in the video description. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.